Okay, in this section, we're going to take a look at uh, lights with multiple beams or pixels. Um, in our case, we're going to, we, we count them as lamps. Um, and on our test rig, we've got a couple of bars, a couple of ADJ UB9Hs, which uh, have um, the split of three split uh, pixels on them. Um, they actually have nine lights, but they're in three sections of three, which are directly addressable. Um, that's why we're going to pick the 18 channel mode because we want to be able to address each set or each lamp individually. Uh, in our case, they're going to start at address 256 and we have two of them. So let's patch them. Okay, they're in. Right now we can test that they're working. So I put them in the alternate group. Let's bring up our lights and check that they are working. Yeah, there they go. Lovely. They're working perfectly. So this is where we need to um, address these lights individually if we want to. So by default, they are being recognized that there are three lamps, um, but they're being addressed as one. So when you will run an effect on those, so we can even we can test that by running a sequence on that group and um, showing that you're going to see that all the lights light up together. So the way we handle this is by understanding the beams. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to one of these lights because they're both the same, and we're gonna choose pixel layout. Now this has become available because this light has multiple lamps. Um, and now we can choose how we want this light to work. So in this case, with this light, um, this is actually correct. We want it to go left to right. Um, because it's the light on the top, on the left, and that's the way it's laying, and it shows me how it looks. Now I could reverse that to change the beam direction, um, but in this case, it's it's absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to save that. And in the case of the other one, we're going to edit the pixel layout. Well, it's the opposite bar, so I actually want it on this occasion to go right to left. So let's save that. So now it understands that there are three lamps, and it can address them individually. Um, and we can test that, for example, with a carousel effect, where we're going to see that the three lamps are behaving individually. Um, we can also see that with the alternate effect. You see, it's treating those three separate lamps as though, almost as though they're three separate lights, although it's obviously keeping them in sync and they're all on the same fixture. So for that kind of fixture, if you want to have them using the pixels individually, then that's how you can set that up. Of course, if you prefer them to work as an individual uh, single lamp, then you can either change the profile because those lights do have a profile where they will not individually address the lamps, but you will address all of them at once. Or you can simply go back um, and modify the pixel layout and clear it. And then in that case, if I go in and I clear that from both of these, and then I run that effect again, um, they're going to run as single lights, as you can see. They're not running the three separate pixels on each light individually. It's all running as one. Um, and that's the crux of it. If you had a light more like a matrix light, I think we can dig one up. Let's find a matrix light. Um, there are a lot of these, I think, made by the same company that will be fine for now um 116 channels yep that'll do let's patch that we don't have the light here but we're just patching it for the purpose of uh, showing you that there's 26 pixels in that light um that we can edit the pixel layout and in this case we can change it to be uh done in a slightly different way there we go so we've got f five rows of four or five rows of five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. I think that's correct. Uh, I think it's not 26. I think it's, I, I don't know this fixture. So let's say, and now you can see that you've got it the way the pixels are running and you can change the direction and then in, then they can be individually addressed as individual lights. Um, when you have a matrix light like this and it's a single light, um, the software is not designed to work completely like a pixel generator. It will understand that there's different lamps and it will try to run, for example, checkerboard patterns or similar. Um, but that's 
at this, at this stage, that's um, what we've made available, and um, there hasn't been demand for any more sort of deeper un, deeper integration with pixels yet. Um, so this is this is what's available now. Um, we may look again at that in the future. For now, this uh, usually does the trick for the majority of use cases, and that's how you edit pixel layouts. <laughs>